Hello, type to us here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to offset a path in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I created a new Illustrator document. And let's say we actually want to offset a path. We can do that in a few easy steps. So the first thing you want to do is to actually create our path we would like to offset. So in this example, I'll just be creating a rectangle, but you can create whatever shape or path you would like to use. So in this video, I'll be using the rectangle as an example. So to create a rectangle shape, go to the left side of the screen right here and find the rectangle tool in the toolbar. Let's just click on this and I've just removed the fill and selected a black stroke as you can see right here so we can see it a bit better. Let's just create a rectangle shape right here. Let's just set the stroke to 20 just like this. As you can see we now have this path right here and let's say we actually want to offset it. The way we do that is by first selecting our path you can do that by just dragging over it or click on it. Then you want to go up to the top bar right here where it says object. Click on this. Go down where it says path. And in here you can see you have this option offset path. We want to click on this and this menu will pop up right here. This is the offset path and in here we can actually change the offset of this path. So we have three different options right here. And just before we start to change these, it's a good idea to turn on preview so we can see the actual changes. So we just press right here. And you can now see that we are getting another path right here. And that is right now set to 10 pixels. So let's example try to set this to 30 pixels instead. You can see that we are now creating a bigger path. And what this first setting means is that there is 30 pixels between the first path right here to the offset path we have created. So you can set this to whatever you would like. You can also set it to 50, just like this. Next, we have this other option right here. And as you can see, it's not right now set to MITRE. But if you click on this down arrow, you can see that we have three different options. And this setting is actually used to change the corners. So we can actually change the corners of our offset path by either selecting the round right here. And now look what happens with the offset path. It is now getting round corners as you can see. And we also have another option which is bevel right here. And it will create these corners as you can see right here. And you can just choose whatever you would like here. I'll just set this back to miter right here. And then when you have changed this, you can actually just press OK. And we have now actually expanded our path. Now if you want to expand it again, we can actually just select the new path we have right here. Go up to Objects, Path, and choose Offset Path again. And now it is actually just doing the same thing with expanding a new path. We can just press OK. And now you can just change up the paths as you would like. So you can also select it to make the corners round if you like that, and so on. So yeah, that's actually how to offset a path in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.